Hey, my friends, family, and loved ones, my free-flowing spirits. I hope you're all doing so well today. And I want to make sure that you're staying centered and that you're existing in the present moment as often as you can. Many of you might be familiar with the teachings of Eckhart Tolle and the eternal now. The present moment is the most powerful thing that we have. It's where infinite possibilities exist. And if we want to, in any way, shape, or form, change how our life is presenting itself, we must venture into the unknown. We must be completely centered in the now to allow anything to come forward. Anything. Which inevitably means it must come from the unknown. Because if it's something that's known, then it's something that isn't necessarily change. It's something that exists within our memory. And the memory is more so a construct of the ego. It uses the memory to try and make predictions of the world. And sometimes they can be accurate from a logical point of view. And existing in the 3D world, it can be very beneficial to use it that way. But moving up into the higher densities, we're going to be focusing a lot more on the present moment and what it can bring forth in that present moment. As we begin to slowly trust the now more and more with the circumstances of our life and how they're unfolding, we will get more comfortable with it because we've been raised our entire life to use this very logical, reasonable point of view that we have of making predictions based off of the past. And again, for the 3D world, I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing, but we have to begin using the 4D and 5D methods of constructing and manifesting a reality if we want to transition over into that density. Much like I've spoken about coming into the divine aspect of you requires you to use the divine essence of trusting the process and belief and living in abundance because anything less than that is the human essence and therefore you will stay in the human aspect of you if you are utilizing the human essence. Where our attention goes is where our energy goes. We know that. We've heard that stated many times. And it, it holds a lot of truth for the present moment. Believe that you are worthy of the things that are coming to you. And you will get more things that prove your worth. But if you're constantly living in the mentality of, I have to save and save and save just so I can make it through, then the universe will give you more of that. It will give you more of, I have to save and save and save in order to make it through. It's a mirror. It's giving you a reflection of what you're putting out. We go back to Bashar's uh, fourth law, I believe it is. You get what you put out. So put out that state of abundance. Put out that mentality of being worthy. And understand that anything coming your way is working in your favor. Have gratitude for it. And then if you have gratitude and you put out that state of gratefulness, the universe will give you back things to be grateful for. If you put out the mentality that you are worthy, then the universe will give you things that are equivalent to your value of yourself. It's always a reciprocal reflection that you're going to be getting. Learning this is something especially difficult for me because I very much grew up in the grind, grind, hustle, hustle mentality. You have to work all the time just to be able to make it by. And for a long time, that's exactly what I got back because that's what I was putting out. I was making it by, but it always seemed like I was just barely making it, but still making it. And after a while, it, it just got absurd. I have no time to myself. Why is it reasonable for me to have to live a life like that? I now understand. The now is going to give me exactly what I put out into the world. So I want to try and put out as much love, light, for others, and myself of course, myself specifically, because of my worth. 
I love myself. I'm going to spend time with myself. I am going to spend money on myself for things that I believe are equivalent of my value. And the universe will give me what I need to manifest that into the world. In essence, manifesting it for me. So don't spend time worrying about whether or not you can do this, whether or not you can do that, you are fully capable. Focus on the now moment. Do you have what you need right now? Do you want to get X thing right now? Don't plan ahead for a now coming up. Use the current now as it exists and base your decisions off of that current present moment. Don't worry, you do not have to force it upon yourself to a completely full extent. You can take your time. You can dip your toe in the water, so to speak. You can pace yourself and just live in the now slightly more and more as time goes on. You don't have to worry about forgetting about all of your bills right now. Take the steps you need to make yourself feel comfortable with it. Always make sure that you're doing that which has been filtered through your mentality first. Do what's right for you. But the abundance is there waiting for you to get out of your own way. So just focus on what's going on right now. Spend that little bit of extra money. Do that thing you want to do. Live in your greatest excitement and your highest joy and passion and just see where it will take you. What's something that you've been avoiding because you think you don't deserve it or because you think you can't afford it? Do that thing and leave it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button as it helps me out so, so much and I appreciate it so greatly. Also subscribe and hit that notification bell too because I come out with more as often as I can daily if I can help it. Links to follow me on all my social medias are in the description box below. Please follow me. I'd love to see you all there. Until I get a chance to talk to y'all again, I love you so much. Be safe and be well on your way.